Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Andy and Knight here, and welcome back to another video. So, yeah, this is gonna be my pandemic guide, pandemic 2 guide on how to beat it on realistic mode. So, yeah, after I posted my video of me beating it, a lot of people asked me questions saying, How did you beat it? and all that stuff. So, the annotation will be right here of me actually beating it using the strategy. And yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys. So, the disease class, you guys wanna use Parasite. You can name it anything. Let's name it Pink Anus. Pink Anus. Pink Anus. You guys, you guys want to be infected with Pink Anus. Okay. We start off in Australia. That's that's all right. That's all right. Okay. The first thing you're gonna do, sell off your symptoms. You don't want symptoms. They're bad. They get your disease noticed, and you don't want them to get noticed. And next thing, put it on fast forward because it's honestly gonna be really boring. It's gonna take about an hour if you try on slow motion so yeah you want to just keep upgrading your resistance because they're awesome and I recommend s staying through the entire thing the entire guide because even if you infect all the countries it's gonna be really hard to get them all killed so yeah and I want to thank you guys for 350 subscribers it's honestly really cool and you guys almost have me eligible for partnership but I need a lot more video views. That's why I'm trying to make these, you know, how-to videos so I can get a lot of views and you can get information on you guys doing stuff. So it's pretty much a win-win. Yeah, we're getting those evolution points. And here are the main countries you need to watch out for if you're playing this game. Greenland, Cuba, New Zealand, Indonesia, and the main one Mata fucking Gascar. This is the annoyingest country. Oh my god. Because here's here's why they're annoying. Wait, let me just upgrade this for a second. Just keep upgrading it there. Um, here's why it's annoying. You see all these other countries. They have these four symbols on there. That's an airport. That is an hospital, and that's a shipyard. Airport, hospital, shipyard. Airport, hospital, shipyard in Cuba. Airport, hospital, shipyard. Okay. Madagascar only has a shipyard. So the only way, there's only one way you can get them, and if they shut that down, which they do most of the time, you're pretty much fucked, and you're gonna have to start over. It's pretty annoying. And there's two things about this strategy. Okay, one thing, it's an 80/20 chance. There's only, eight, there's 80% it's gonna work. There's 20% it's not gonna work. The the 20% is usually from Madagascar shutting down their seaports when you're gonna start over, which is pretty annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, and another thing about the strategy, it's it's really slow. Honestly, it took me 25 minutes to beat the game on the other part, on the other video, which will be right here, the link. And that's because it's a parasite; it moves really slowly, like 0.1 miles per hour. So you're gonna have to be patient. But don't worry, I'm here to talk to you guys while this is going on, and I'm gonna be skipping it a little so you guys don't have to sit through the entire thing. So there we go. We just need to get Madagascar infected. If Madagascar gets infected, like one of the first countries to get infected, then you're you're pretty good for the rest of the game. You pretty much won. The rest of the game is just a waiting process. You have to wait until you have enough evolution points to buy symptoms, then you can fuck with the countries. <laughs> you give them AIDS. You give them gonorrhea. There we go. Okay, so let's upgrade that heat. At heat. Like I don't see if they make Pandemic Three, which I hope they do, because this game is pretty fun. It's addicting, guys. If you don't win, you just want to start over and over and over and over again. But um, on Pan Pandemic Three, I hope they put like an airport in Madagascar or something, because it's really annoying only having a shipyard. Because if they shut that down, it, you pretty much you can't win. So it's stupid. Okay, so the disease arrives in Russia. Mother Russia, be infected. Indonesia, so okay, there we go. We got one of the big countries down. Brazil has been hit. Three people in Brazil have been hit. Four people. North Africa. North Africa has been hit. We just need Madagascar to get hit. Come on, Madagascar. Show me what you're made of. 
Greenland. New Zealand. Okay, so, we're getting, so this is the good thing about this strategy. This is why it works most of the time. It's because it gets all the island countries first, which are the hardest countries to get. Except it will not get Madagascar. I mean, it will 80% of the time, as I said, but hopefully we'll get it this time too. Okay, it's in the United States. What country do we start in? West Europe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We started in here, in Australia. Okay, hit India. Come on, just hit Madagascar. I'm begging, please, just hit Madagascar. Can we hit Cuba? So we hit all the major countries that we needed to hit, except for Madagascar. Please, hit Madagascar. Hit Madagascar. The president of Madagascar is like crazy. He. This is why you need to get it first. It's because. If all, all the other countries start getting infected, and you can see that they do, so the people in Madagascar is gonna shut down everything. So that's why they need to get infected first. Because most of the time, Indonesia is not gonna shut down their airport and seaports at the same time. So, we got the Middle East. Let's see the Middle East. It's in Argentina. Let's see Australia. Oh snap! A million people in Australia are being infected. It's in Japan. Come on, just be in Madagascar. Madagascar is the main one I'm gonna hit. Come on, Madagascar. Okay, so let's see how the other countries are doing. Cuba. 4,000 Greenland, oh shit 17,000 Australia has a lot more than Greenland I guess it started there, that's why Canada's been hit Peru Come on, I just want Madagascar to get world Madagascar is the only country left Holy snap, They. I really need to hit it now Now, now, come on. It worked most of the times, but I didn't have it recording those times. No, yeah, stop, stop shutting down yourself, come on. You don't, no, you don't shut down your stuff. We need it to hit Mad Yes! Okay, we hit Madagascar, guys. GG, the game is won. See, this is this is why this strategy works most of the time. It gets all the island countries, which are the most, like, the hardest countries to get. And then it starts, like, moving inwards and starts getting all the, the land countries. So, yeah. Madagascar was the last country. Okay, they're starting a vaccine. Fuck the vaccine. We have drug protection for... So yeah, pretty much from here on, like, this will work for 80% of the time. If it doesn't work for you guys, uh, just keep starting over, guys. I had to try it a few times to get it working for me, too. And yeah, from now, I'll, I'll keep talking to you guys, but I'm going to be skipping a little part because from here, it just gets really, really annoying. So, okay, so let's keep the guide going. The first, next thing you want to do is unlock all this. You want to unlock all the transmissions so it'll spread really fast. There's no clean regions left. Affected regions, Canada, United States, all the good countries. Mad fucking gas cars in there too. How do you feel now? Huh? And this here's the dumbest thing. When they get infected, they keep their shipyards open. They they will not close their shipyards when they're infected. But when they're not infected, they just close them. So I mean, that's pretty stupid if you you know if you if I it was up to me. But I guess I didn't make the game. So, let's see how Australia is doing. Damn. 20 million people. Just got wrecked them. And, yeah. And let's see what's going on. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just had to go get something for a second. And, yeah. The world's turning to shit. <laughs> Even Madagascar. 
So this will probably be the time where I know I pause it and you get, it just skips for you guys because this part is pretty boring. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and yeah, I left for a, about like three minutes, and we still only have 13. So this is what I was trying to say. It's a pretty slow process, but it works. And if it works, this game is extremely hard to beat. So if anything works, you know, you might as well take the chance to go get it. So now I think it's about time where we start fucking with the people's brains. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna buy swords. Let's see. Uh, we're, we're gonna buy swords for now. Let's see the disease. I mean, let's see the world. Zero dead. Zero dead, really? Let's see where it started. Pretty much everybody, well, except for about. Look at the healthy population is going down. 5,000, 20, 3,000, 20, 19. This is going crazy. I can't even keep up. So, yeah, guys, the only big problem is that the evolution levels, they move really slowly, as you can see. Two right now. So, I'll be right back again when we have more. Okay, guys, we're back again. And as you can see, it's still only nine evolution points. So, it moves pretty slowly. Let's see, nobody has died from our disease yet, but there's a shit ton of people infected. Pretty much all of China is about to be infected. All of India is already infected. All of Australia is already affected. Infected. All of Madagascar. Ha! How you guys feel now? <sighs> okay, so let's give them a fever. Let's give them vomiting. There we go. And now we have zero. Look at that. We just made them go crazy. This is when they start shutting down everything. This is why you don't want to buy symptoms. Because if, if I would have bought a fever or vomiting before, everything gets shut down. Look at this. All the stuff that was white before, except for, I don't know, New Zealand. Thanks to the shipyard should be open still. But all the stuff that should be white before, it's all gray now. Except some countries that are just, you know, they're just smart world holy shit look how much people died in that amount of time there's only two people that are healthy nobody's healthy anymore ha 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 uh -huh. and there's about you know three 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 one billion about let me see about one billion people that are dead just like that just in a matter of I think about two three days in game, not in real life, because it's two three days, that's crazy. Dang, look at the infected population, it's going down now, and the dead population is rising like crazy. Let's see, yeah, it's still going down. So, yeah, this is the part of the game where it honestly gets extremely slow. This is why I was saying, you know, stick around for the entire video and see, I'm skipping it, so it doesn't seem that long to you guys, but for me, I'm sitting here for about 30, it's about, about, it's been about, I'll say 20 minutes since I've been playing this game, so yeah, but it works, guys, that's the only thing that really matters, doesn't it? And this is like, it works most of the time, that's the reason I like this strategy, because you know, we did a challenge, me and my friends, and we like, who can beat it first? And I used this strategy, and I was just like, ha, bitches, I had a strategy for this game. And this is for them, too. If, if you guys are watching this, I'm sorry. But I, I beat your ass. I beat your ass. So we'll be back when we get, okay, we got a lot more stuff. We we'll need 10. When we get 10, we can unlock the second level of symptoms. So pink anus is going to take over the entire world. I just want to see this, guys, the comments. Fill the comments with the word pink anus. Just say the pink anus has took over. Write that in the comments. I want to see if you guys actually do it. That would be pretty cool if you guys did. <laughs> or even better, go on every YouTube video you see and say the pink anus has taken over. And say, like, I put a dash and say X, D, and D, and Knight. So I'll be like, ha, I started something. 
I never started. Okay, so we got 11 now. Unlock tier 2. So we got Demi I Dementia. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I never said it right before. So we're going to start beating some people up now. Let's see the population. Okay, not, not too much. Better. 5 billion people dead. In that amount of time I was just talking, 4 billion people died. That's crazy, guys. You know it is. And pretty much the disease is going to keep spreading and keep spreading and people are going to keep dying because everybody's already infected so they're going to die eventually and we'll see what's the first country that dies off I have a feeling it's going to be Madagascar oh no Madagascar is looking pretty strong hmm let's see Greenland yep Greenland's going to be the first country to die look at that only 3,000 people left 3,000 people left in Greenland so we'll be right back and we'll see if Greenland does indeed die. Okay guys, so we're back. And Madagascar only has about like a thousand people left, so until then we'll just buy more disease is. So what should we get? Pulmonary edema. Cost to buy. Mm. Pulmonary edema can serious health concern. It's also increase the chance of being exposed. Okay, let's just buy it. Fuck it, let's just buy it. Six billion people left. We only have a billion people that are alive. That's crazy. Let's see, a thousand people left. Oh my god, Greenland's not doing too well. Not well at all. Let's see Madagascar. The president of Madagascar is probably just like, fuck you bitches, I told you guys that there's a matter of disease. We should have shut down the shipyards. <laughs> I honestly don't know who the president of Madagascar is, so. I can't say anything, but he, he should be a cool guy, I, I think. I'm not going to go into politics here. This is a politics-free channel. So, yeah, about 400 people left in Greenland. They got hit really hard. Okay, so you can watch them die. If you guys live in Greenland, we're giving you guys a moment of silence because you guys are awesome. The moment of silence starts now. Okay, it's ended. <sighs> Only about 100 people left. So sad. So sad. Probably in Russia, this probably goes like. Oh, wait, anyway, that's just. In Russia, the people killed the disease. Yeah. I don't know. Russians are cool. 60. 50. 40, 40, 30, 20, 20, come on, come on guys, count down with me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no signs of life in Greenland, Greenland was the first country to die off by our, by pink anus, pink anus has took over Greenland, so sad. So, so, so sad. But the show must go on. So we're trying to get 15 uh, evolution points so we can unlock tier 3. And when we unlock tier 3, that's when the ball starts rolling. That's when everything dies. There's, it just dies. So let's see Cuba. Cuba has low population too. 2,000 people. That's good. I mean, that's a good amount of people still left. 3,000 people. Let's see New Zealand. 2,000 people. Let's check right here. Japan, 21,000 people. China, a lot of people. India, a lot of people. So yeah, the main country that pretty much hold out is China and India, but they don't look too well now. And look at this. Even the hospitals, they can't do anything because there's no hospitals left. <laughs> we killed all, I mean, we infected them so much that there's no hospitals left, so it's GG now. No one can stop us. 400, 247 days. So I'm beating my old time. Oh, I thought it was New Zealand is why I can do it. Okay, 800 people left New Zealand. We need one evolution point. 
Come on, give me one evolution point. One. Give me one evolution point tonight. There we go. One evolution point, and now, guys, it might seem weird, but the thing that really helps is depression. For some reason, when I every time I buy depression, it like just kills everything. But if you guys really want to kill everything really fast, you need hemorrhage, hemorrhaging. Yeah. Hemorrhage, hemorrhage, hedging, like whatever, hemorrhaging, yeah. It costs 22, it's a crazy amount, but it will kill everything. You guys, trust me, we have 400 people left. 200 people left. And the world's falling down. Down to the ground. There's not even a billion people left anymore. There's only about, about less than 200,000 people left. And our Aziz kills about 2 million people a day. So I think this is humanity's last day. It might be, I don't know. No, it's not. There's still a lot of people left. Look at that dead population. It's crazy. So 258. This strategy usually takes about a year. But we got it really fast this time, so it sh it should be less than a year. You guys can if you use this guide. So I hope this no, I'll say at the end. It's not the ending yet. Okay, so we'll be right back when all the other countries start falling down too. Okay, so we're back and New Ze I mean Madagascar has been drained of life. New Zealand, pretty much all the countries are falling to shit now. Cuba's gone. New Zealand's gone, as I said, and I only, I was only gone for about 10 seconds, and all this stuff happened. So, yeah, no signs left in Australia. So this is about the end, guys. Just to mess with the people, we'll give them depression now. <laughs> we are bad people. Pink anus, you do not want this disease. Let's see how many people left in the world. Not at, not many at all. No sign of life in Peru. About some people left in Brazil. We will give a moment of silence for Brazil too because they only have their hundred people left. Canada's gone. Oh, Canada's gone. That's where coal lives. Coal is gone. I see the U.S. The well, U.S. is still kind of strong. Kind of stronger. So there we go. There it goes. Oh, Russia's gone. No, not Russia. Three people, one one person left. There we go. Brazil is gone. Let's see how the two top can. Two hundred people left. Four hundred people left. China's holding out. Look at China. Okay, so no, we'll give them insanity. We'll give them this. Japan completely devoid of life. India's about gone. Three, two, one. Indonesia's gone. Zero. Thirty-one people. North Africa still kind of strong. Not, not strong. I'm not talking about. They're pretty much dead now. Fifteen, twelve, nine, eight, six, six, five, three, two, one. Done. Okay. Let's see. Any other countries still alive? Nope. Nope. Let's see the world. Oh my God. Forsaken regions. China's the only one left. How are you doing, China? Oh, you last your last 20 people. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this guide helped you. You. China only has five people left. There we go. Humanity overcome. Mankind's number have declined. Your disease is meant to exterminate humans off the face of the earth. Yeah! Finally, guys. Now, if you... All this time, you guys couldn't beat the game. And now, I hope this guide really helped you. Please leave a like if it did. Please, you know, share the video. I'm trying to get my channel out there. All for you guys. You guys are amazing. I do what I do for you guys. And, yeah, remember to go to all the com videos you see and comment. The pink anus has taken over the Indian night. <laughs> oh, my God. Quote me on that. Just, like, say it. <laughs> that would be really funny if I, you know, watch some video and that happens. So, yeah, hope this helped. And have a nice day.